Hi right, folks, so I'm out at St Billy Sunday, so I'm out at the campsite with the uh, van. Uh, I thought I'd show you something I've just picked up from uh, Aldi's uh, as an additional cold storage in the van. It's this uh, self-inflating uh, cool bag. So in the van I do have this, uh, I think it's 45 litre uh, compressor fridge, so it's 12 volt, uh, so it's just 12 volt only. Uh, and that works really well, but it's uh, not the biggest space in there. Uh, quite a lot of space takes up uh, by the freezer compartment. Uh, which is which is handy the freezer compartment and so on, but as you see got the, the essentials in there some uh, coke and some beer. Uh, but yeah, I bought the ice bag uh, so for when I go away multiple days, uh, I can use it uh, as in a bit of additional storage. The bag itself's uh, 26 liters, so it's almost uh, half again the size of the fridge. Uh, so you stick stuff like your beers in here and uh, keep your food uh, in the main fridge. So yeah, I've been looking for a, a nice bag or a cool bag that I could keep in the van all the time so uh, I didn't have to remember to put it in. And uh, this looks like it'll work out really well because uh, unlike just the regular ice bags, this is a self-inflating one. So it's got a bit more insulation into it so it should help keep food cooler for longer. You can see there it says... Uh, eight to ten hours and uh, I can refreeze my ice packs in the freezer compartment in the uh, fridge in the van so that'll work out great so I'll get this cardboard off and then I'll show you a bit more of what the bag's like yeah, so that's the cardboard off and as you can see here it's got this uh, elasticated strap that goes around it so it just keeps it all uh, flattened down so you just peel that off uh, and it's got the benefit of actually being uh, attached there so you won't lose that uh, strap you can just tuck that in that pocket later on and then it's got just these valves it's got one on the top there which just open up and it starts to self inflate and then there's another one just on the front you can see that it's already starting there to inflate and give it a helping hand uh, and just pull it pull it up a bit so i've just left these uh, valves open just now just to help inflate it a bit more uh, we'll have a look around the outside of the bag it's made of a nice ripstop uh, polyester, I think it said. And on the outside, you've got the valve on the front, the valve on the top. On the side, it's got a little mesh pocket, which you can tuck that into. So you can catch on stuff, as well as uh, used for other purposes. And it's got a nice shoulder carry handle, which uh, is pretty good. I would have liked to have just a regular small handle as well. Just kind of on the top there, uh, just to carry it a bit uh, closer to your body. And then set the two way zip, the nice zip poles. And then you can see that's the uh, silver looking uh, material on the inside. The sides and the top here I feel like they're about, probably about half an inch thick foam. It does feel like it's uh, really well insulated and, and inside there. So 26 litres, that actually looks uh, really big. I would say it's 26 litres, doesn't it? Do, do, do. Yeah, capacity. Capacity 26 litres approximately, which uh, actually looks quite big like compared to the fridge, which is uh, supposedly 40 or 44. Uh, Oh yeah, that's a, a bit of the information on it, and then, and then on the bottom here it's got a bit more, same what it's like flat and stuff. It's uh, not uh, cheap, it's uh, £25, but if it works as well as I suspect it will, uh, compared to just your regular ice bags which don't really keep stuff cool for very long at all. Uh, it should be worth the money. It's got these strange uh, loops on the side here that I'm not sure what they're for. But inside the ice compartment or inside the cool compartment. So I suspect you could probably use them for, you know, if you had like a net, like a hammock type thing, went across the top because they're on uh, all four corners here. Like a net that went across the top could uh, keep your softer foods from uh, getting down the bottom and getting squashed by stuff. Let's look into that. But yeah, it looks like it's a really well made, really well made product. And I've done had uh, good success with Aldi stuff in the past. 
But yeah, this is just a first look, uh, just to let you know that they've got it in Aldi's at the moment, in case anyone's interested for uh, one for their van. So I'll probably let you know how I get on with it uh, over the summer, and hopefully it, it does the trick. So that's it, just a quick video. Uh, thanks for watching, bye for now.